near as busy as like last year at a high limit event. So it's, it's exciting. I mean, for me, it's been a lot of work behind the scenes to get us to this point. Uh, you know, whether it be putting the staff together, booking the races, or you know, getting the team signed up, the contracts, putting the rules, all that stuff. And now that we're here, I feel like you know everybody's kind of in place and doing their jobs. And uh, honestly, I've been kind of uh, focused with my team on trying to get our car right for tonight, get my helmet cleaned up and, and ready to go. And, kind of paying attention to the track. We got a little wind, some clouds, and you know, there's weather moving in, so they're gonna be kind of moving fast tonight. So yeah, just kind of letting everybody do their jobs. And, and I think that's ultra important for, you know, the success of the series. And honestly, for me to be a part of this, uh, as a race driver, I need to be racing on the race days. And uh, we've, we've tried to put everyone in the right place to make sure that, you know, I don't feel like I have to be a part of anything other than my race team for the day. So uh, obviously uh, just excited to see people in the pits. Uh, it's so nice to, to do all the hard work behind the scenes and then and start to see the support of it uh, all come together. So, yeah, really excited for the first night. Uh, excited to get the car and race. Excited to uh, hopefully put on a good show for the fans. It's the first, you know, with the national tour. It's the first with this you know, team of people together. And um, that's what's been you know, good to see compared to where we were at last year. It's just we had not many people helping us you know last year uh, we, we stayed pretty lean to uh, cut cost and you know, now you know, we've got you know some better funding and, and some, a lot better help to go along with it so the whole high limit team has, has done a great job throughout the off season and there's been a, a lot of hard work it's it's never ending hard work either you know they're they're working throughout the night you know i'm in group text with all of them and it's just like constant stress so um it's cool to uh, to see the the night run smooth um and yeah, I think mean, it's just a testament to all the experience that we have here. Anytime that you have a big idea and you never know what the outcome's gonna be, so you, you take a lot of risk and uh, a lot of it is just ideas and, and you know things that you think might work, but you never know until you actually get here. And so to see it kind of actually look like it's you know starting to work, uh, you know, the teams actually come and they're, they're believing in the series and supporting it, the fans are, are starting to come out and come through the gate, you see all the staff doing their jobs. I mean, it's just a really gratifying thing. Um, you know, it, it took a lot of risk and a, a lot of guts to kind of do uh, what we did to kind of, you know, change up status quo and, and make some big moves for quick car racing. But we really believe in it. And uh, I think when you believe in anything, I think I'd regret not taking the risk more than, than taking the risk at this point. Uh, just happy that it uh, so far looks good for us. I cheer for Brad a lot, but I was glad to see him not run second because you know all the fans would think it's all rigged. Um, so, no, it was uh, good to see you know some some young guys uh, up there battling with me to win, and then you know staying in front of Brad. You know he's been the best there is for five consecutive years. So, um, yeah, it just shows that I think it shows the fans at home that you know it's not going to be a cakewalk for him, which is which is good. I agree. I mean, I want I want to win. Obviously, I want to win uh, for one to to you know win the money. And, obviously beat the other drivers but uh you know this year for sprint car racing i think high limit drivers feel like they have we all kind of feel like we have something to prove you know we're not part of the outlaws and uh you know there's this debate on who's better so for some reason <laughs> and, uh definitely gets me excited to go to the races it, it's definitely uh i feel like i think more excited or more just more of a chip on my shoulder to try to win races and, and prove a point this year so excited for the battles uh you know this is just the beginning so excited for what the season brings yeah i mean I know there was some skepticism on whether we'd be splitting, you know, 12 guys up, and there wasn't enough, and there was a lot of concern, and, you know, we were certainly paying attention to that concern, um, but I think we kind of knew a little bit more in the background of, like, where a lot of these teams stood, and obviously when you start providing more resources, uh, more teams can step up, and you see that the Outlaws have 10 or 12 guys, and, you know, we have 17, so, I mean, you're looking at 27 or 29 full-time national sprint car teams, I think that's... That's good, that's healthy. Um, I think there's you know, some rivalry building between the two series a little bit. Like we wanna be considered the better drivers, they wanna be considered the better drivers. Uh, you know, I think it'll be fun this year. I think it's a, it's a fun rivalry, I think it'll be good. I think uh, we're excited from the high limit side that we have so many great teams. I mean, uh, 17 and, and it's, it's a super deep, uh, talented group uh, that really wanna, you know, there's some guys that haven't been on a national stage that are gonna be you know, on a national stage this year. and. Obviously, you bring in Kyle Larson, um, you know, to kind of battle, to elevate us even to another level. So I think these are going to be ultra competitive races. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of money on the line, and I think everybody's uh, hungry to get some wins this year.